Hey people, this is Ray of my road tours. Today I'm going to do an unboxing on an Evo GP Pro 3-axis gimbal. This particular unit uh, can be used with various uh, models of action cameras. Uh, in my case, the GoPro. So anyhow, stick around and check it out. here we are folks um, what is a gimbal um, it's a stabilization uh, device it's designed to stabilize the video as you're shooting it uh, they have different kinds um, this electric they have uh, some manuals that have counterweights and um, so the only difference is this has electric motors it's a three axis each axis has its own electric motor and uh, they just will rotate and uh, keep the camera as pointed in the direction that you want it to, despite a lot of motion. So they come in real handy. I don't normally do a lot of vlogs, but here lately I've been walking around. Uh, if you've seen any of my recent videos, like the generator, walking up and down the hill and stuff, uh, I was using my GoPro uh, three-way. So... Anyhow, so it's real shaky, so I decided I'd use a gimbal. Anyhow, so um did some looking around and the Evo really caught my attention. Uh I watched I mean I watched tons of videos, uh read tons of reviews, and the Evo seemed to have quite a good uh uh, uh review record, if you will. Uh, they're made here in the U.S. It's a company out of Oregon. I believe it's Bend, Oregon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that's where they're headquartered. Uh, I've watched a lot of reviews. The build quality was nice and so on. So, anyhow, let's get to uh, unboxing this. Now, I'm not going to be able to probably show you much about its operation because more than likely you'll have to charge the batteries so. but what I can do is uh, unbox it and show you a few things Sorry. All right, here we go. Whoops. Trying to, let's do this instead. Well, the packaging is pretty nice. It's like the apple of the gimbal world here. All right, got our, what appears to be the instructions here. Okay. There's our quick guide, our assembly. So definitely put that to the side right and uh, keep that close by. Now, the one of the unique things about this particular gimbal is you can recharge your cameras with the, uh, gimbal so uh, they offer an assortment of of uh, connectors for uh, various uh, cameras this here is your uh, it's not the micro I think it's the mini USB is what they call that anyhow this is this will plug into your uh, GoPro uh, 3 plus 4 black 4 silver I'm not entirely sure after that uh, see what this one here is that looks like the same type of plug so anyhow but if you don't have if it doesn't uh, come with the plug that you need you can check out their website they do offer other plugs uh, I'm not sure how much but I know it's not that much so 
Anyhow, uh -huh, this is some kind of double uh, self-adhesive piece there, so I'm assuming it's something we need. Alrighty here. This here is our charger. And then over here is our batteries. 3.7 volts. Uh, these are lithiums. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but uh, they're definitely not AA batteries. Slightly uh, longer and larger diameter. So, anyhow, here is our the meat and potatoes of the whole. Thing. I think it's Zumas was the name of the gimbal, but this is a almost identical to how you installed the GoPro on that. So, anyways, you just unscrew. You can do this several ways depending on how you put the camera in or what kind of camera, um, but uh, you can slide your camera into it uh, rookie mistake on my part I did not bring uh, an extra camera down to slide in there for y'all <laughs> anyhow but let's take a quick pause for this quick commercial and I'm going to grab one of those cameras. Alrighty. <clears throat> Went and grabbed uh, this here's a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Now Like I said, probably gonna do some have to do some charging first, but what I used to do when I'd mount them this way, I would unscrew these screws. I don't know if you can see it's a lot of thread there, so I'd leave them out but never like fully undo them. So I could just slide the camera in like that. My uh, first Phantom was, had to, uh, actually this is the GoPro 4 too, because I can tell, because this cover is cracked. <laughs> I uh, wrecked my drone one time, and uh, I tore up my GoPro, and I bought the, uh, the little crash, whatever, insurance, and uh, so they replaced it, the lens got scratched. <laughs> lens got scratched so okay so this is basically what it will look like now these are some pretty high torque motors they shouldn't have any problems with the GoPro uh, like I said it should handle an assortment of these small action cameras that there is the hang on a sec also brought my rib cage um, my regular here I'm using my regular hero 5 to record this so we'll just have to settle for my rib cage all right here this uh, rib cage is kind of I don't know if it's zero five or just the rib cage, but it's a little thicker than the uh, older GoPro. It'll slide in, but I don't want to like scratch it up too much. There we go. Well, let's see, I'm not even seeing any threads. 
So it's still got a little bit of room there. There we go. All right. So, so I'll just imagine that's just a standard uh, Hero Five, which basically is the same as the the new Hero Five, uh, new Hero Six. Sorry. So, so, plenty of room for both those generations, and like I said, the 6 is identical to the 5. I've not bought a 6 yet, I'm not entirely sure if I will or not. I admit, I, I kind of like the 60 frames per second, so... son playing his guitar again <laughs> the music is brought to you by Frankenstein sub that's his YouTube channel anyway uh, all right. so demonstration on how you plug those in anyhow you got your power on off button right there You got your, uh, this is your micro uh, USB here. So, plug it in. Yeah, I believe that's for maybe updates or charging. Um, oh no, I believe it's charging the your camera. See, up underneath the gimbal here on the side, you plug in that one wire. I guess I should have done this while it was... There's a GoPro in there. Go ahead and do that. This four should be easier to slide in. So, um, actually, this is exactly, whoops, sorry, <laughs> uh, exactly how we had to do the original, um, uh, I shouldn't say original, the, the older DJI Phantom 2s. So not only did you slide the camera into the uh, uh, gimbal, you also had to plug in the camera to the gimbal. So I keep bumping this camera. And then this comes around. Don't give you a lot of room, does it? So... There you go. Now the gimbal in this position would charge the GoPro as well. Now the gimbal has about five hours of battery life is my understanding. That's going to cut that short charging your GoPro. The standard GoPro battery is about an hour. I guess it really depends on what you're doing. When I say about an hour, that's like 4K 30 frames per second. Um, you know, you lower the resolution or, you know, or you're just snapping photos or something like that. You're not going to use as much juice. So, but if you're, uh, in a pinch, be a good idea to carry this with you so you can charge your battery. So, all right, now we'll set this to the side. Oh, also it comes with a, uh. I forget the exact threads, but it's you can mount this to a tripod, I believe. So All right. right. It's where your batteries go in. But you also of an extension so I think you have the option of using one battery or two batteries it's either that or um, another but I believe it's just for two so then you put this back in here 
man, I'll tell you right now, I really dig the uh, feel. It's not real bulky. I mean, I got pretty big paws, but it's it's not too big, but it's not too small either. I really like it. I like its feel. That polished, uh, it is polished aluminum there, but that aluminum housing, it just feels really nice. So, anyhow, like I said, I'm going to have to more than likely charge the batteries. So, we can put these batteries in here just to see from interest of science. I'm a trusty opener. So. It's been pretty really jamming out in there all right here uh, yeah it's two cells all right so let's see what I make sure this is on good i was doing it more for demonstration purposes but i don't want to go flying off of here all right Let's see what happens blinking lights as you that you're seeing here I don't know if you can see that or not that that indicates uh, power uh, I believe it's something like one beep you got like 70 80 percent something like that anyway the more beeps the less power you have so it's they're pretty much dead so about what i expected so anyhow i'm gonna have to uh charge those all right got the batteries charged on the gimbal let's see here flipping around the gold button is our on off so we're gonna press that should see our, see our blue light there now the joystick here, you press and you hold it down for a few seconds. There we go. You can feel it kind of jerk a hair. Anyhow, let's see if I can give you a, a closer. There we go. All right, so I'm trying to give you a demonstration here. It's going to take a lot of practice to get used to it. So uh, uh, don't expect any perfection out of me right now. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's it's uh, it's perfect. It's like below freezing out there and snowing. So doing this inside. Okay, so here we go. We got our uh, power button, the gold button. See the blue light. Now we're gonna push this joystick in, kind of like a Xbox controller, and hold it for a few seconds. There we go. So, give you an idea. There it is. Look, lot, no hands. So, it's completely stabilized. Bend down, bend up. So. I know a lot of people like to do this whole side-to-side -side motion stuff, but you know, you're not going to need that in most cases, I suspect. Um, now, the other unique thing about this and a lot of these modern gimbals is they have remotes on them, either remote controls or these joysticks. 
push the joystick again once now you have full control over the the gimbal it's pretty pretty sweet I think so so get this straightened out a little bit more here and uh, give you an ideal now like I said it's gonna take a lot of, of practice so uh, to get like a really nice smooth cinematic uh, um, shot of something so I'm gonna try to even kind of give you a sh an ideal like see the eight ball here um, See, it's only going side to side. It won't wrap around and unless I, I kind of play around with it, maybe. All right. Now with the joystick, I can turn. I can not quite do a 180, but let's see. I can get it focused. I can... I guess it's going to take a lot of practice. And uh, <laughs> try to go easy on me. Uh, alrighty there. Hopefully that helps give you an idea of some of the uses of the gimbal, and uh, hopefully it'll it'll help with my uh, walking up and down all the mountains and hills around here when I when I do make those type of videos or wherever else I might be. Uh, to help stabilize those and them not be shaky so hopefully they'll be more you know viewable <laughs> all right so anyhow hope you hope you found this uh useful and helpful if so please like and subscribe <laughs>